everyone, I am Ruchi Sharma, a nutrition and wellness consultant from the city of Lakes, Udaipur, Rajasthan and today we are going to be making some super healthy and gluten free sweet potato brownies and some yummy chocolate shots. Uh, for the brownies we need 1 cup of sweet potato puree. For that we need around uh, 225 grams of uh, sweet potatoes. Now we just need to cut the sweet potatoes in half. Take a baking tray, put some parchment paper on it and put these in for about 25 to 30 minutes. We need 1 cup of sweet potato puree. We've already baked it and made a puree out of it. 2 third cup of maple syrup. Half a cup of either peanut butter or almond butter. 1 and a half tablespoon of olive oil, avocado oil or even coconut oil. 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now just give this a good stir. Mix it really well. You can also do this in a food processor. So now we are going to add half a cup of cacao powder to this. One teaspoon of baking powder. Just a pinch of salt but I like to measure it. So about one fourth teaspoon of salt and about half a cup of oat flour. Just mix it really well. Now it's almost done. Now we're going to take a baking tray, uh, put a parchment paper on it and spread this. We're just going to top them up with some pecans and some dark chocolate chunks. So now we're going to top this with some pecans here and there. And some huge pieces of chocolates. I think we're good to go. Now, and we're going to be baking it at 176 degrees for the next 28 to 30 minutes. The brownies are ready guys and this smelling quite yum. Next recipe we are cooking are the chocolate shots. Now for the chocolate shots we need half a cup of yogurt, 2 third cup of sugar, 1 fourth cup of olive oil, you can use any other oil and 1 cup semolina. Now you whisk all of it together until well combined. Now you just have to cover this with a lid for 15 minutes and set it aside. So now our 15 minutes are over. Now we just need to mix half a cup of milk, one fourth cup all purpose flour, two tablespoon cacao powder, half teaspoon of uh, baking powder, and 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda. Just mix it really well. So now we need to brush the appe pan. Now you take 1 tablespoon of this batter, put it in the appe pan, just fill, just, just fill half of it with the batter. Now you take these dark chocolate pieces and you put one or two in each. Now you fill the entire thing up with the remaining batter. Now we are going to be putting this on a low flame for 5 to 7 minutes. So here we are with our final chocolate shots. Let me try one. Can you see? Mmm, quite nice. Look at this beautiful chocolate shot. I'm sure your kids are going to love it. You can overload it with more chocolate and uh, just enjoy it.